What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is SGS Gaming. Welcome back to another Let's Play video game review. In this week's episode, I'm going to take a look at Tasmania for the Super Nintendo. I did a full review of this game a long time ago, close to when I first started my channel. But I wanted to revisit it and answer the question, is this game worth picking up and adding to your collection today? For starters, Tasmania was developed by Visual Concepts, published by Sunsoft, and had a May 1993 North American release date. I also need to make a special note, this game is drastically different than its Genesis counterpart, so please do not confuse them. The Genesis game is more of a side-scrolling 2D action platformer. Whereas from this gameplay you can see here, this game is more of a racing game? Or maybe speedrunning game. But let's jump right in. Let you guys see some gameplay here. Start of the game, and you can decide. Right away I will say that the colors and artwork in this game are absolutely fantastic. Definitely feels like it was something inspired by Chuck Jones. There's a lot of detail, everything's so bright, colorful. Taz can jump. He can slap his hands on the air, he can also spin, he can break. So controls are very nice, quick and responsive. And you just run and try to eat birds and dodge obstacles as you do it. And just try to go as quick as you can. As you see, there'll be telephone poles or, you know, random cars or other things that'll come in your way. Your camera view is always over Taz's shoulder, I guess, or behind his back. So the object is just simply just run as fast as you can and eat birds as I dodge the car right there. So, I wish there was a whole lot more I could say about this game, everybody, but there's just not a whole lot here to this game. You just kind of run and try to dodge stuff and eat birds. As I dodge another car there, there's just not much else going on in this game. Again, the artwork and the music is charming enough. Controls are thankfully quite responsive. I played some other games that are loosely based off the Looney Tunes cartoon or characters in the game where the controls are just absolutely miserable. Oop, hey, we got a first bird. We have to collect three birds in the first level. And thankfully the background artwork is pretty nice too. You can see the foothills and the mountains and everything else in the background. Almost looks like, you know, kind of a 16-bit version of maybe something Bob Ross would have done. But there's just not a whole heck of a lot else of here. I wish I could say more. So is this game worth picking up and adding to your collection today? Well, the one nice thing is that it has stayed very, very cheap. So if you're a hardcore Looney Tunes slash Chuck Jones fan like I am, or a Super Nintendo collector, then yeah, go ahead and pick this one up. But otherwise, I'd stay away. It's just, there's just not enough here. So, hope you enjoyed this. If you have another game that you'd like to see me touch on, comment below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Till next time.